I'm good at rubber belly. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. Lockdown is a 2021 rom-com heist film directed by Doug Lemon, who directed such classics as Mr. and Mrs. Smith and Jumper. It stars Anne Hathaway, Baron Mordo, along with Stephen Merchant, Mindy Kaling, Lucy Boynton, Ben Stiller, and Ben Kingsley. Quite the colorful cast. This film is unique because it was created entirely during the immense epidemic we here in the past are facing. The world is changing and our art reflects this. As its title may suggest, it takes place during the time it was made. It was written in July of 2020 and shot in just 18 days. So what's the story here exactly? We follow the exploits of a quirky couple who plan to commit a jewelry store heist. High stakes shenanigans ensue, though it takes quite a while for for said high-stakes shenaniganry to ensue. It's a fairly standard uh, romantic comedy, so there's plenty of quirky antics here. It's technically a heist film, though it's largely about, you know, human condition stuff, relationships, and the character's sanity as they navigate through the backdrop of our modern predicament. There are some big-name actors for this relatively low-budget film, though many of the character interactions are done via video call. Befitting of the times. Our main stars are Anne Hathaway as Linda and Chiwetel Ejiofor as Paxton, Linda's husband. They're a deeply strained couple, which makes for great entertainment. The, the acting is pretty wonderful, uh, pretty great, though I, I get the feeling that most of the dialogue was improvised. You know, Anne Hathaway gives these long-winded, meandering monologues where her character increasingly falls into insanity. <laughs> you know, these people are at their wit's end, understandably so. I will say that Paxton and Linda never quite felt like they were a couple. They seem like strangers who vaguely know each other. I, I kind of dig it, though. This movie is very unfocused, I thought. Um, sometimes it's a comedy, sometimes it's sort of a drama, sometimes it's a heist film. It's two hours, and I'm not entirely sure what the overall point of all this is. I do enjoy the comedy quite a bit. This is a super funny movie. The comedy relies largely on the fast and witty dialogue. I, I think I like this movie, but I'm not sure I like it for two hours, you know? They probably could have whittled it down to an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, still, I see this as a fascinating part of our film history. Imagine how confusing this would have been if it released in early 2019 and it only made six dollars because it was the most confusing heist film ever made the actual heist part of this film is a lot of fun uh, but i never felt like the movie was building up to it effectively it's a pretty standard comedy for most of the runtime and it sort of abruptly becomes a heist movie toward the end get down cat while I feel it's a bit unfocused and a tad too long, I, I did enjoy this. It's fascinating to see our current reality portrayed in film. For the most part, it's an easygoing, relatable, uh, relevant comedy with fantastic acting and a good sense of humor. It comes off as a little meandering and pointless in the end, but I still enjoyed it. And so my final rating for Locked In is a... We'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. <laughs> Zip, zip, zippity, thank you so much for checking out my channel. You've made yourself like a person of greatness and promise, and I hope you succeed in all you set out to do. See you later. Bye.